G'day and welcome to our epic desert special with the crew from ARB. We've covered some territory in the last few days, long reach to Bullia to Alice Springs, almost 3,000 kilometres in my 76 series Land Cruiser. Now the 70 series has been around for about 20 years without any major upgrades or changes. It's a bit like stepping back in time when you jump aboard, but having said that, there aren't many better equipped or more suited vehicles for a journey like this out there. They are the automotive ships of the desert. So if you ask my wife, she'll tell you that I'm a little bit OCD. I'm a bit of a clean freak when it comes to uh, trips like this. Keeping the car you know, well balanced and well packed is really important. So we're a couple of days into it. And uh, we're doing just uh, some reprovisioning of the fridge, if you like. One thing I've never done before is travel with one of these. I've always been an ice and an esky man, a poly esky man, can you believe that? I have never, um, I guess, uh, loved a product as much as I love having a fridge freezer in the back of your car and particularly for where we're going uh, we're certainly going to be using this so I'm going to repack all this it looks like it's never been unpacked and away we go This morning we depart the Alice and head for one of the Northern Territory's big ticket items Kings Canyon about 350 kilometres away. So it's a short hop by our standards and a day where we can take our time and take in the scenery, which is absolutely incredible. One of the things that really strikes you about Alice Springs is just the sheer beauty of the place. It's surrounded by these massive monoliths and you feel like you're sort of tucked away in a valley, but uh, all of that desert scrub surrounds you as well. The West Macdonald Ranges stretch to the west of Alice for about 160 kilometres and make it hard to keep your eyes on the road. But our team are pumped and focused on the prize ahead. Kings Canyon sits at the western end of the George Gill Range. There are three main walks, which include a rim walk that takes three to four hours to complete. So when you come to the red centre of Australia and you hear about names like Kings Canyon and Alice Springs and Uluru, you think but they're probably all a stone's throw from each other, but in fact, nothing could be further from the truth. We've driven about three hours this morning from Alice out here to Kings Canyon, and we are about to do the walk straight up this rock behind me, so let's go do it. It starts with a steep climb known as Heartbreak Hill or Heart Attack Hill, depending on your age. <laughs> so with fingers crossed, up we go. Jamie Knight wouldn't blow out a candle, mate. How fit are you? Oh, hey? mate, this stuff like this tests me. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I say I go all right, but yeah, climbing this mountain, I'm gonna take it out of you. You come out here a lot, and you're kind of, uh, well, you've almost been our team leader today. You know this country pretty well. Oh, I've been out here a few times, mate. I mean, yeah. you know, it's just where it's taken me, and yeah. I love bringing people out if they haven't been out here and show them around. It's funny, because, you know, we all hear about Kings Canyon, and we hear about Uluru, we hear about Alice Springs. And you've kind of got this idea that they may be 20 or 30 kilometres from each other. I oh, know, she, she's a long way between anything out here. Yeah. Gives you a good understanding of how big the country is. Oh, yeah, mate, it's unreal. And you know what I mean? It's just great to come out and have a look around. I mean, it's, we are, we are, we're in a beautiful country, and why not come out and check it out?
canyon wall rises about 100 metres and gives a spectacular view to the gorge below. So this is it, the famous King's Canyon. Spectacular, breathtaking. The views are, well, I mean, take a look. The scenic rim walk takes about four hours to do if you're going to walk the entire circumference. We've come to the second lookout. You can see straight down the gorge at the car park below from where we came. I reckon I've earned a beer, so I'll see you there. So I'm not much of a geologist, but I'll give it my best shot. About 400 million years ago, this place was just an arid, windswept sand dune. Uh, now, the silica in some of that sand is the crust that forms the hard outer layer uh, along the top here, the ridge of the canyon. So uh, from there, of course, water has uh, made its way down through the, the funnels and also wind has created erosion and that's how the canyon was formed. That's our exercise done and dusted and once back in the car park we decide to make plans for our camp later that afternoon. If you've been to Kings Canyon before you may well have stayed at Kings Canyon Resort which offers a bunch of accommodation options. However we decide to head for Kings Creek which offers some fantastic powered and non-powered sites about 35 kilometres from the gorge in the direction in which we're travelling. It's our first real night of camping, a good opportunity to do a shakedown for the Simpson in a few nights time. While most of our crew are in rooftop campers, I'm rolling out my ARB swag under the vehicle awning and it's all starting to look just like it should. Well, what a day. Central Australia just never fails to please, does it? The colours and the landscape as we left Alice Springs this morning on our way to Kings Canyon. And then Kings Canyon, of course, what a walk that was. I really enjoyed heading up there and we've certainly earned dinner tonight. We've come down to Kings Creek about 40 kilometres down the track a bit. And this is really just a bit of a prelude to what's going to come for us in the Simpson Desert. This is our first night of camping, so we've rolled the swags out, we've got the fire going. Dinner will be served shortly. What a day it's been and I can't wait for more of this. A camp chair, a glass of wine, some good conversation about our hike into the canyon today, and a thousand stars. It just keeps getting better. And tomorrow, Uluru awaits. So join us on our next episode of Camper when we arrive at Uluru for a bike ride around the rock and set up a very nice background indeed for our convoy of ARB tricked up Toyotas as we make our way to Birdsville across the Simpson Desert. We'll see you then. ARB are the people to see to get yourself trip ready.